got back from a little getaway. Kev's been off for the week, doctor prescribed, and we decided, let's go to Vancouver. It's nice and cool there. So we had a little adventure, and even though we had an adventure, even though we ate out for every meal, we were conscious of what we ate and what we ordered, and we're down. Who's down after a vacay? Who? Us. Since Kev has had this horrible health scare, he's obviously had to make different choices about what he eats. Much different choices. And he's not enjoying the awareness. However, <laughs> he is 100% embracing the awareness, which <clears throat> I'm very proud of. It's been difficult. You go to a restaurant and you can't eat what you usually eat. No pasta. A burger is fine as long as it's wrapped in lettuce, which is not a burger. I'm not right. convinced a burger is fine, but whatever. It's yet to be determined. We are learning as we go many things about what each of us can eat. I don't have currently health concerns like this, but I am a very overweight 45 year old woman with these kinds of things in my family history. So for me to not take this seriously would also be very foolish. And it is a little traumatizing <clears throat> when you look through menu. So let's talk for a minute about exercise. Now, I have neglected exercise for days, weeks, because it's smoking hot outside and I wilt like a delicate flower. <laughs> but in Vancouver, we were able to exercise because the temperature was phenomenal, like 26 degrees plus a fresh breeze. So we rented e-bikes. And I know it's cheating to rent an e-bike, but when you're gonna go as far as we went, we were on the bikes for four hours straight. I think somebody at one point told me that if you exercise relatively soon after you eat, um, it affects your blood sugar numbers if, if they spike too high. And lo and behold. A, a basic walk in downtown Vancouver. Yeah, I'm still pretty tired. Um, well, I think you're tired because you don't normally walk, even, even well, in the I best of health. But I mean, I've, I've, yeah, I suppose, I mean. I Jumping was... up and down off equipment all day is not the same as walking uphill in downtown Vancouver and you could tell there was a difference in how you felt. Well, yeah. yeah. We're gonna crush it. Say hi, Kev. Say hi, Kev. Hi, Kev. E-bikes are awesome. We need some e-bikes. We are at Stanley Park. Stanley Park. It's making me sleepy. <laughs> So a couple weigh-ins ago, just before I got sick, I weighed in at, what was it, like 255 pounds? Somewhere around there. So I I, I, th I talked about this before, I was really not paying attention to anything. Um, when I was sick, I dropped down to 239 pounds within two or three days. It was, it was pretty brutal, nothing was staying in. I'm happy to report that I've only gained about two or three pounds. That's impressive, from yeah. him being incredibly ill, weighing 239 pounds after days and days of, you know, voiding. It's pretty incredible that after a vacation and living life, two weeks later, he's only up three pounds. You can tell by the numbers that the man is in the game.
him do new 1900 calories a day. And he said he was gonna do 10 push-ups a day for seven days. Well, the health scare happened immediately after we both made our, our, uh, our weekly commitment. So needless to say, that hasn't happened yet, but it's, it's back on the table for me. Anyway, I don't know about you. Um, yeah, I haven't opened the Noom app in a few weeks. I don't want to, I don't want to track calories. <laughs> I really don't want to. However, I notice when I track calories, I do lose weight because I'm conscious of everything that goes in my mouth. So yes, I will do it. And no, she won't like it. I will not like it. <laughs> but isn't that the whole point, right? Push yourself to do things you may not like doing, but you know are good for you. Like that quote. Thank you for everybody for, again, for the support that, that you've shown me and Janelle. It was very touching and, and especially thank you to all the people who've reached out. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support and for watching our video. Cause we're two cool cats you can't get enough of, let's be frank. That's right. Arifa! See you later. Did I just yell in your ear? No. Whew. No beating tonight. <laughs> uh -oh.